Hello my friends, back at Worlds. Today we're going to take a look at Hungry Thieves vs Rainbow 7. It's going to be a banger. It's it, like, I don't know, I think Rainbow 7 is being kind of underestimated here, right? Obviously the LLA, they come into the event and uh, yeah, they're never really the favorites, right? They have never made it out and so on and so on. I mean, not every region has like success stories at planes, but this is very funny because obviously LLA will be eaten up by NA really and uh, yeah the whole Americas regions we're going to talk about like the changes to the world's uh, esports scene at some point probably after worlds right so stay tuned for that if you want to hear my takes on it anyway let's just get into the draft Kisante already picked that's great I'm rubbing my tummy mm, lecka, lecka, mm. uh, yeah that's good for my pickems if you want to check out the pickems you know what to find them anyway then we have some other interesting picks coming in. Brand, first rotation, and Jax. So Jax obviously coming in to like, face Cassante. Fair. Nothing really to say about the bands. Let's just ignore them. Skana being high in band priority, not looking good. Not looking good. This is again kind of what some of the leaks said, but uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just see, let's just see. I'm not going to question the brand. Obviously, brand does damage, and Cassante is a tank, and having tank shredding damage is pretty good. Not sure if it's brand going to be like anywhere close to the jungle, because I thought these things were kind of getting nerfed, but whatever. Then we have Jarvan coming in, not only good, but also good against brand, kinda, right? And then Quit picks up Quick. Obviously, I think it was Barrel. A I don't know, a long time ago, picked Hui's support and he has a shield I guess and uh, like similar to like Velcots, Lux, well Lux at least has like, uh, whatever, Zero Fresh, like there are like some of these artillery mages that can be picked in bot lane to harass the enemies, uh, pretty good with like lane dominant champions like I don't know, Caitlyn for example. Um, so that's one option but I don't think that's going to happen, oh, also Jin would be a good option to pair it up with. So yeah, they, they keep up the flex. Anyway, on the other side, there's there's Tristana, right? Tristana, like AD carries in the mid lane, are still prevalent. Mages are still, well, yeah, it's rough, right? The thing is, even if the mages got something back, right? With uh, like some changes here, some buffs there, like the AD carries in the mid lane are still going to beat them up, right? Oh, okay. So R7, they go into this and they just go uh, guns blazing. Uh, that's that's a poor joke. Brand in the jungle, Draven AD carry, uh, Draven Rel, they absolutely want to murder people. Tristana in the mid lane against, I mean, Quit. Hey, I'm I'm hot on that guy. Uh, like, has not played that much solo queue uh, after his initial absolute destruction uh, of uh, like anything in his path, right? right? What was it, 44 game win streak and so on and so on. Uh, so probably has been more scrimming and. Uh, yeah, doing like in houses and so on and so on. But regardless, Quay also a champion we have not seen in a long time. So Quay, Brand, and I guess you can add a Jar, uh, not a Jarvan, a Draven to that. Lots of interesting picks already coming up. That's what we love the playing stage for, man. People are just picking their comfort. They come from what they've mastered from their different regions. Hey, a T1 fan there in the stands. Let's go. T1 fans unite. Um. Yeah, people come with their different pick, uh, pocket picks uh, and their different meta reads, come on and face each other. It's going to be an absolute banger. Let's see. NA versus uh, Southern NA, I guess. Uh, yeah. Wasn't R R R7 as a, as a Mexican based team, no? What, do, what, what should we talk about here coming into this matchup, right? Uh, mid lane quit is going to be in a bit of pain uh, during the laning phase, I assume. With some items coming in, he will one-shot the waves, right? Where he has some really good wave clear. Um, but yeah, it's going to be painful, but then it's going to be a okay. Bot lane matchup, kind of similar story. It's going to be painful early, uh, especially if Zio actually manages to get ahead. And well, then later on, it's going to be a okay because Jin just clears the minion waves from uh, a bit of a while. Kane also, by the way, for R7, that guy is... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a banger matchup, right? Uh, sure, there's Summit, Body, in case you don't know him, he's a veteran in the scene. A uh, couple of Worlds appearances and so on and so on. 
he is really uh, yeah, good and reliable. Not on the like, degree that Levi is or something, but yeah, he is he's pretty good for the regions. And uh, yeah, Seo is I think he's like a two like he's two years into his career, and yeah, so far so good. Um, but yeah, the bot lane is not really the, the stellar part of R7, so this is where I would think uh, think that uh, Tomo, right, had a really good run in the later halves of uh, the summer split. That maybe uh, Hunger Thieves can uh, like do something there, but well, well, regardless, Summit's position here on top side still looks good. Kane, yeah, with more AP coming in, Quit is standing his ground. He has the cookies, he has the potions. So yeah, it's good, and I mean he's going to start spamming his abilities onto the wave. Let's just see, let's just see, obviously uh, now 6 minutes, look at the positioning, right? AD carries, bot laners, everyone and their mother rotates over. <sighs> the more things change, the more they stay the same, man. They did that shit for Rift Herald, and that was like the old version of Rift Herald, which uh, was not that good. Oh, Summit here, presses the helicopter, helicopter, and it's A-OK. -okay. So maybe they can commit here to something that is first blood for the Draven. Uh, yeah, I don't know who I'm cheering for. I am kind of cheering for R7 because they're like the underdogs. And hey, I mean, Summit is cool, KNA is cool. But I also want to uh, see Quid uh, perform. And historically, I think Hunger Thieves is a pretty cool organization. Uh, or at least I liked some of their players back then. So I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit torn here. Uh, can 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 everyone win? So it's my typical experience in the in the playing stage. I like everyone. We'll get flag and drag, and there's good damage here already for the Javan with the tunnel in hand as Zenithlight follows through. Oh, he's nowhere nearby. Cataclysm. Oh. One more auto, one more anything, and uh, yeah, no one can help you really. Kenya also getting chunked. Yeah, that's the problem of the Tristana. Uh, like once items come in, you're just getting harassed and. I mean, look at this mid lane gold cap already. 500 gold there. Kane has to TP to his inner turret there because, yeah, the rotation of River and Elia is also pretty potent, right? They still away camps. And look at this uh, ballsy pick, right? Audi picked it up so early in the draft. And uh, yeah, he's getting punished for it, right? Starving brand here, yeah, really. Oh my god, River gets the scuttle crab over the wall. And that's going to be a massive engage. Audi is still in range of the curtain call and just has absolutely wombo combo. Elia gets the old of, but who really cares? What the hell was that? What? How did. What happened there? Was it Quit? I think Quit was it, right? Who dragged uh, Leon's back. But yeah, this just does not look like a good engage here. Seo doesn't get to auto attack once. There's sniper with the flank, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, okay. That is very unfortunate. And uh, yeah, River running this game, by the way, absolutely uh, one-sided jungle performance here. Top lane completely neutralized, right? We can't even say anything to this about this matchup. Um, Summit has the winning matchup, but the other player is playing Cassante, so things just don't matter really. Oddy getting completely out jungled. It really is. I mean, again, Summit with no TP. Sniper can't match it either. Okay, okay, okay. So, yep. Yeah. Really want to sacrifice herself. But she sacrificed herself, but the others are still jumping in. It's just a bit weird. Anyway, anyway. Summit comes over, so that's at least something for them. But, yeah, overall, 1k gold lead. Just a 1k gold lead for NA. But... Yeah, I mean, we see the gameplay and we see River absolutely performing, quits way. Yeah, being in a great spot and it's just Summit's counter pick there in the top lane, really uh, holding it together. And we know what's going to happen. We know it's going to be a Jax going into a team fight and being absolutely fucking useless. Okay, so uh, yeah, Dragon being here attacked and there's no cross map, no nothing. And uh, yeah, it's even worse because Summit is the one. Um, yeah, he's just dead. Okay, he gets a flash off in the last couple of moments, but there's a fucking fly on my on my screen. Shit, man. Yeah, this is just this is just so bad by R7, right? Sure, they get the top lane turret, but what about the bot lane turret? Audi forced to flash away from the Kassante. Nice, uh, nice tank, by the way, right, games. 
and yeah it's just horror it's just a horror your strong piece was on the weak side it's like what are you doing what is this assessment summit here grouping with the team the classic a eh? let's be a team fighting checks and be absolutely fucking giga useless in comparison to what Cassante can offer i just absolutely love it that you handshake this every time as a jacks player you have the winning split push but hey let's not play play around split push because we need to uh team fight with our jacks and uh yeah audi let's not talk about it he at least gets something off but that's about it it's not the worst team fight right um but it's still pretty bad Seo here losing his stacks bye bye and uh yeah it's a three for oh it's just a three for two well i mean three for two is still fine three for two is still fine for our seven here uh they are continuing to lose the game because again they draft weird stuff and then they play away from their win conditions kane what the hell was that that was a bit weird there but hey he gets good amount of damage off that's why he gets two kills here in the end all the two kills for his team and again sure Jax can team fight I mean, i'm not saying that it's impossible that it's like something that he can't do sure it's not a fucking fiora or something that's the reason why Jax is so popular in pro play because yes you can go into the side lane but you can also team fight but bro you are not picking him for team fighting if you want the champion to team fight pick fucking orn or null fight or whatever pick some fucking like tanky motherfucker that uh is still going to one shot your uh, backline because uh, tank base damage go ooga booga and he has more impact and scales also pretty well like just do it just do it but no just no we pick fucking a champions like uh and it's probably the same argument as fucking renekton every time uh, we pick it for uh, early game pressure it's like fuck you with your early game pressure anyway people are getting caught here and uh here we see that range is real um yeah summit pretty probably loves his life being uh, a Jax here look look at these fucking champions they are like sniper is just standing there he's just the the uh, i don't know the the bouncer right and then there's river and elia who are the uh engage shoots also from like decent range right especially if you add flash to river and then there's Quit and Tomo who are standing all the way over there. Like, it's hard to see them. They're standing so far back and they throw shit at you. And that's just how uh, like a really good artillery uh, comp works, right? You have artillery AD carry and the artillery mage. And you just hold the people in place before you. And you throw shit at them. It's a, it's a very nice draft. It's a very nice draft by Hungry Thieves. Sure, if the enemy team has like a few tanks this comp can be a bit difficult but hey luckily for them they uh, they show that their jungler is not playing in a tank right they uh, their jungler wants to play a champion that is like hard countered by this 100 thieves comp um and there's the jarvan and you quit throws from range look at tomo throws from range and there's just no way uh like r7 can actually interact with his opponent Ah, oh, it's just so fun. It's just so fun when drafts just uh, do things. Obviously, also then we can ask, okay, if you know we can't team fight at all, why do we even try to team fight? And well, the answer is because people are unwilling to do anything but team fighting in pro play. It's like always, hey, we need to contest this objective. Oh, we need to team fight. Never is it. Oh, hey, maybe it's fucking good if we have our Tristana or our Summit guy uh, in the side lane and just like hammer down turrets. Right? That was one of the biggest strengths of G2, because they were willing to play the map. They were willing to play the map, play split pushes, and so on and so on. That made the game uncomfortable for their opponents. Like, sure they had mechanics, sure they could team fight, but that was not their biggest strength. Right? And you could add that um, in these team fight situations, often they were ahead in gold and like I had positive XP uh, advantages that also come from playing the map right if you group you get less xp that's just how it is oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, regardless right and that helped them to a great extent uh, they had good picks they had good mechanics and all of that but it's just uh yeah leaving out the map play and no one tries to like recreate this like if you look at the western regions like they all try to play honest styles and uh 
Like just because the LCKs uh, and LPL are successful with it just doesn't mean that's correct. It doesn't mean that's the most optimal thing to do at any point. Somehow they win a team fight here. I don't, I don't even care because it's just not going to matter. Uh, they're going to pick up kills. They're going to pick up the objective bounty off the Cloud Drake. Let's go Cloud Soul. I didn't miss it. I missed it, man. Cloud Soul. Man, that's my Cloud Soul, brother. Okay. Actually, I mean... They crawl back, they get a good amount of gold here from the bounty, they got that bounty as well. And sure, there's still River with the, uh, what is it called, the Baron buff. Let's see, okay, how did it happen? I was rambling on about the champions and all kinds of things. So, Lions engage here, catches on Tomo, has to flash early, gets like chunked, and oh, wait, brand damage actually kind of does something. And yeah. Quid was not there immediately, right? Because they were setting up some 1-3-1 uh, situation thingy majingy. And uh, yeah, worked out well for them. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe they uh, can make Hungry Thieves lose their mind. And hey, Hungry Thieves, they still need to play, play the champions that they've drafted. And uh, I mean, hey, they are an A for a reason. Let's just see, let's just see team fight damage. That's why we pick Brand, that's why we pick Brand, right? Let's see, let's see. And they're chasing him down. But Lois is here. Oh, and then we have another fight somewhere else. Audi. Ab Look at this. Where the fuck is he at? Absolutely caught out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay. Pops the ult and gets killed by the Kisante guy. And that's the jungler. Dead. River already at the Baron. And. No, 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 no. What are you guys doing? What are they doing? Okay, they pick up a kill on the sniper guy. Bro, bro, bro. TP bot, TP bot. Take in it, take in it. You can't get Baron in anyway. It's gone. TP bot! You still have a wave! What the fuck are you doing? There is no way. Oh my god. Hungry Thieves, like, here now they didn't recall, but they should have recalled. They shouldn't even give them the fight, which, I mean, it's losing anyway. Oh, you could have gotten so much more. Just play the map. Baron is gone. But no, let's chase and let's go into it. Oh, I am getting so annoyed. I am getting so annoyed. Like obviously they did. Like they didn't have a ward on Baron, right? The ward that you see there on the mini map has been placed. Uh, like during this like uh, scuffle there. It's so bad, man. They could have gotten inhibitor turret and mid lane turret. Sure, it's not the same as Baron, but. Hey, that's some good gold, that's some good map control. That's shoving in the waves, right? So that the Baron power play uh, afterwards is going to be less uh, positive. And hey, uh, sure, there's no objective bounties anymore, but hey, it's better than nothing, man. It's better than just running at, running at this fucking Hunger Thieves comp. Like, have they not realized that they can't teamfight yet? Like, I don't know, man. It's just so wild. It's just so crazy. And now look at this. Like, if Hungry Thieves sets up a siege, it's GG. You have no way to penetrate the siege with Baron buff. You're just getting killed. You're just getting, like, destroyed. Summit here, like, tries to do something, tries to get the minion wave. Kane also here looking at the side, right? Because they know they can't, like, step up to them, honestly. And, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Again, Ranger's real, drafts are real, and we see it every fucking time, ever so often. Okay, that was a big crash down by Lunds, uh, or Lions, Lions, I think is how you pronounce it. And maybe with that they could have won the fight if they weren't so far behind. But, uh, yeah. Okay, there's the TP from Summit, it is on the ward. But there's no immediate follow-up. He has been popped and now he's just being run down and yeah, that's him dead. Okay, so uh, yeah, that attempt didn't work. Now let's try base defense part two. It goes in again, bro. Like people are dead. Are you going in or are you just trolling? Anyway, now River goes in. I think people are losing their minds here a bit. We see Seo's damage and he picks up it up. Hunger Thieves is kind of trolling. Like, hello, there are super minions coming into the base. You just need to fucking wait and then you get the top lane turret for free. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? This is the NA macro that uh, that I talked about. And I was like, oh yeah, other teams have no macro. Well, Angle Thieves, they certainly have no macro either. Anyway, Summit now and his friends turn onto the Baron. I mean, they have good Baron damage. Let's just see. 
Okay, river still running. Oh, okay, that's the game. Nice. They get the Baron, but no one is left standing. Uh, great idea. It doesn't matter if it's North or South America. Baron for base. The old TSM classic served you up by R7. I mean, the game was lost for them anyway, right? Uh, team fighting Jax, KW, uh, and then all these short range champions against this artillery destruction champion comp by. Uh, what's their names again? Uh, Hungry Thieves. Yeah, great game, great game so far. But uh, it's just uh, messy, messy. Uh, let's hope R7 can get a more competitive and more. Yeah, more real draft <laughs> in game number two. Uh, because otherwise there's going to be just another slaughter. Messy slaughter. Okay, it's game two. Kasante, blind pick B1 again. And the, the question is, like, who's going to answer Kasante? I don't have an answer to you. I know a champion that uh, maybe snips, snips, snips away at Kasante, but even that matchup is sadly not as great. Probably because I'm bad, but uh, yeah, let's just see. We just pick Ezreal, okay? The enemy team has Kassante, let's pick an AD carry that is really bad into tanks. Match fixing needs to be studied here by R7, like what the hell are they doing? Uh, yeah, bans. By the way, Sundra is still not banned and instead it is the Skarner. Hey, yeah. Yep, yeah, sure. The enemy team has picked Kassante, let's just pick, um... Renekton, yeah. Renekton, known counter against, uh, against him. Yeah, very nice. Uh, we pick up Lucian army. Okay, okay. Let's be, let's just lie down back end. Let me just cry in the suffering that is this drafting, man. Ezreal Nautilus. Okay, again, we're waiting for like I don't know some kind of crazy champion that can deal with this Cassante, right? Because so far no one is going to kill him unless um, Summit gets black. Uh, what is it? Black Cleaver. Blade of the Ruined King, then he can obviously do something, but that's not going to happen. He's going to go Black Cleaver, uh, Bundled Sky, and Sterarchs, and all of that. Good items, good items, but just a bit sad. There's Syndra, still getting banned. Let's go, let's go. That's good for the pickems. They ban out the Yasuo. I mean, Quid has played it a bit in play uh, in, uh, in solo queue. Oriana. I mean, Oriana's pretty good. Um... But, like, blind picking mid lane here? A bit interesting. Wait, that is Aurora mid lane. Okay, Aurora mid lane paired up with the Wukong. This is, the, uh, is, is she also a Vastayan? Maybe. So this Vastayan power here, three uh, out of five Vastayans. Interesting, interesting. Now let's see the jungler. Like, you're not picking Rek'Sai, bro. Yeah, like, Audi, like, stop it. Okay, there's the Nocturne Oriana combo. People expected it to be picked up by Gant today, but well, that didn't work out. Obviously, Nocturne got banned, at least in one game. Um, yeah, if we look at this, it looks playable at least. I mean, I don't know Aurora mid lane against Oriana. I have, I have no idea. So let's learn together. Top lane matchup, obviously, uh, it's fucking Renekton. I picked Renekton for the pressure. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, and Cassante is being picked to assassinate 10 people at the same time. Yeah. Uh, jungle matchup. We expected AD junglers to come in, but uh, not these types of AD junglers, honestly. We'll see, we'll see. Let's go into the game. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, flash! Oh. Okay, big flash, big flash found. Obviously, that means look at top lane, wards are being placed. Um, maybe we're setting up some swaps. I mean, so far today, we didn't have a lane swap at all, which is interesting, honestly. Um, right? Lane swap shouldn't be that, but we also didn't see Jinx or anything like that today. I don't know, man. I, I just really hope that the meta still changes somewhat. Sure, these like playing games, especially today, were pretty exciting, pretty wild, but... Uh, for the main stage, I want uh, I want some uh, intelligence in Go Legends, please. Knade doing well. That's also what I want to see, right? I hyped this guy up, um, and I mean, game number one, it's like he looked great. It's like sure his team uh, got uh, stomped, and it was pretty hard to play Tristana there. Uh, he had no jungler for 99% of the game, and uh, again, 
team comps were the way they were, and he's playing against Quit, someone who's pretty fucking good. And uh, yeah, again, remember, even though he was down in CS, he was still 10 CS per minute, and uh, yeah, it's just what it is. Anyway, this Aurora mid lane so far has not convinced me, but maybe she scales good with items. I mean, she does, but I just, I don't know. And uh, yeah, the wave slow pushing into the Kisante, so like he's just chilling, just needs to stand there in the, uh, in the brush, be in XP range and uh, yeah, then just collect the big wave. Uh, as long as his jungler is like, I don't know, pathing towards top or something, it's going to be fine. Not that you can die for Kisante at level fifth, uh, 5 to 6 anyway, so it's just a, what it is. Anyway, 5 minutes, the last wave should be collected now in uh, in bot lane and maybe afterwards we see the recall. Uh, the, the cannon wave is already coming up, yep, there's the recall for the Hunger Thieves bot lane. Means they will be in mid lane uh, in a couple of moments. Anyway, uh, yeah, they try to dive the Kisante and as expected it doesn't work out. At least no one dies, Summit props the ult though. And uh, they day night at least a bit of CS, but that's kind of about it. Or as I observed, right, the laning phase was ended here at the grub reset, at the grub rotation. Um, now quit, can play uh, the Aurora into top lane, into summit, right? Way better matchup. And yeah, I mean, it's fucking... <laughs> it's Cassante, right? He doesn't care if he plays 2v1 against an AD carry or something. He's AO fucking K, right? He already uh, got to buy armor, so like good for him. And mid lane, Kane versus, uh, versus two here, Tomo and Elia. Uh, it's going to be alright as well. Oh... Wait, what? Why did Quid's ult not work? I mean, with the movement speed he still gets away, but that was crazy, what? How did he not get it through his ult? Was it cancelled due to the fear or, or what happened there? Anyway, flash away from Ka Kaine. And Lions also has to run away, but that's the end of the Orianna. It's going to be a one for one. But oh, the Nautilus gets the kill with the Ignite. Ay, 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 it's a tragedy. The lane assignments are shifting around, so very smart from them to get the best out of their champions for that. Right? Quits early laning phase. As kind of expected, right? I was like kind of confused what the hell this Aurora was doing in the mid lane. And she was just suffering, but. If you swap around and then have the Aurora face the the Renekton, it's just all right. It's just all right. It's a good champion to have in your composition. So uh, yeah, being respectful, just suffering a bit early game, and uh, yeah, taking a bit of a like CS tax, it's going to be okay. And yeah, bot lane, uh, very cool by the way. One champion is uh, a carry, and the other one is Kazante. You know how this turns out. And yeah, the other fight. It looks alright, it looks alright, but River is doing a hell of a lot of work. It's going to be alright though. Kills gained across the board and yeah, it's a 2 for 2. R7, big benefits, big benefits, right? Well actually no, it's a, it's a 2 for 3. Elia also died. Hey, that's huge, that's huge. Let's see it again, I was kind of confused by the Kisante uh, one-shotting people. Oh yeah, Elia just gets immediately womboed by the, the combo. Tomo sure to fall as well and then the extended fight after the cooldowns have been blown could be a bit rough for R7 but uh, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Okay, hex flash again and yeah, yo, this Lions guy, he's like, looking good. Oh my god, the Avengers assemble, everyone TP's in. Jesus, man. It's just grubs, it's just grubs, man. Calm your tits, man. Anyway, obviously, six grubs is pretty good, but it's not that Hungry Thieves has the best turret taking comp anyway, right? They're turning onto River, Sniper is also standing around, but the back line a bit exposed there. But they're going to get a better angle there. Lion solo, River trying to go in, but Oriana already used Sniper getting lower, doesn't get killed by the last uh, the thingy majingy there. Oh my. Might be a bit of a disaster here. Oh my, that's my all pro top laner. But uh, yeah, tough. Ah, yeah, yeah, at least we can rub our hands and say, hey, Summit played well, Quid played well, good for them. And uh, yeah, overall, the problem is with R7 is their comp is pretty shotgunny, right? If they fuse their cooldowns, it's really tough. And look at them, like Seo and um, 
kind of already in a bad spot from the get-go because the team overforced into the pit and the, others, the soft underbelly was attacked and after they have used their ultimate it's just rough right the base abilities or the base yeah base abilities right from the angle thieves lineup for the extended fight are just so much better right if they don't one shot them if they don't find enough one shots or enough chunks it's just not enough and yeah here we see it bad positioning and well the consequences of the draft and of the champions as well manifesting uh, and resulting in hunger thieves winning the fight picking up five grubs uh, yeah good for them good for them so here quit might be a bit under attack but nah he's so fast and yeah he in contrast to kiaya went with the malignants first right he knows he's just an old bot well i guess maybe it's also due to uh, bot lane uh, top lane versus uh, mid lane aurora anyway uh, people tp and the monkey is alone and the next one tp is in Ay ay ay! this is the na region that you want to see man and uh, yeah <laughs> rainbow seven gets three kills just like fucking that uh yeah quit obviously you can't really fault him too much i mean i guess he, like why the fuck are you stepping back up to like a nearly dead turret man that was pretty troll uh but yeah he got the wombo combo uh, in, into his face that's that's that uh but what the hell are the others doing the new america's uh region or league or whatever maybe it won't be totally dominated by na well, it, it will be because they have more money but hey looking good looking good especially like the lla is just the the, the big sacrificial lamp in all of this right because they're going to make a brazilian region or brazilian league and they're going to make an na league and uh what the hell is going on with lla right regardless here um uh, again you can be as fast as you want the r and right click from Audi. i mean hey so much more impact this game and uh yeah it's again it's just nocturne it's just nocturne your squishy side laner uh we all know how that feels right the only thing that you can say uh it's not quits thing like the only thing you can say like as a team is uh, that uh, yeah hungry thief needs to make things happen at uh, like at the cross map when two people are committed bot lane uh, jungle plus top laner right maybe you can do something right and uh, here they tp for this mid lane turret but might be a bit over forced right oh maybe it's not oh the shockwave is thick and there is summit immediately gets comboed oh quit again oh man i had you so high in the power rankings don't int make me look like an idiot Ay, ay, ay. but yeah this is by the way this is why like the i don't have na and eu so high in these power rankings because these motherfuckers are just messy they're just messy they're not able to like play these games out cleanly ay, ay, ay. anyway 8 11 we have another like random skirmish hey this is this is uh, i know i uh, yo ls will scream out his fucking mind uh this is literally the, the fucking argument like losing the game in quotation marks about the mid lane turret which sure it opens up the map but like hey it opens up the map fucking jackass and okay oh they go in with the uh, nocturne oriana combo they don't get an immediate one shot that's going to be tough that's the oriana dead and oh summit gets some damage down so it's going to be a one for one that's a hook onto tomo but still can't uh lock down the kill and so on and so on there's still Kisante. oh my god Kisante is Kisante is such a fucking disgusting champion but that's the problem right who's going to kill Kisante on this team comp the answer it, it is no one summit is the only one with the black cleaver who can potentially do something but that's about it can he get the escape but yeah it's just not enough it's just not enough r7 they try to cook but it's just burned man they burn their food look at this so summit here on the side not too bad not too bad and they get the old combo but it just puts them to half hp and it is on the turret so Audi has to flash immediately out kane gets like cc'd and i mean they can't lock down these kills right so many blinking health bars for the hunger thieves lineup and then i think so eat forward and at that point kasante can't just do whatever that guy wants to do man that guy needs to be removed from the game i'm going to say it every fucking time it's uh my what was it Kat uh, kataga delenda est that's that's my that's my saying kasante delenda est and you can obviously add zeri and smolder to that list as well wasn't it one person who designed all three of these champions 
and I think that person also lost their job and the uh, like layoff at the start of the year. I'm not going to be mean and say deserved, but uh, yeah, champion design is crazy. Anyway, we have another combo, and this time Tomo dies, so that's at least something. But it's going to be a one for one trade with the jungler. Let's see. There's the big old quit, gets so much damage, assassinates the AD carry still there, but Summit is a fucking raid boss. Uh, yeah, 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 it's going to be a two for two, carries for carries, but I guess with Orianna left standing, that is something more valuable. Actually, quit died there at the top of the screen, it didn't catch it immediately. And man, this Cassante champion is just fucking stupid, man. Look at him. Probably most damage dealt in this game is Cassante, man. That champion is so crazy. Good thing I picked him at the most picked champion. Kinda manifested the Sante priority, I guess. Anyway, man, su Summit goes full Uga Booga. Look at this, man. Builds fucking, uh, what's it? It's not Ginzus, it's Spear of Shojin. Okay, they find Lions here. Old goes into nowhere. Summit in the front line. Where is Kaine? He is there, they look for quit and they instantly one shot my guy. Uh, yeah, 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 so it is a one for one. Quit for Lions, it's good, but the cooldowns for us, R7, are concerning. Hopefully they're not too high for yet, because otherwise they are going to absolutely be destroyed. Oh, the Aqua Prison lands, but it's a one for one trade, I guess. CC for a life. And yeah, Hunger Thieves picks up the dragon, so two for two in that department. Uh, yeah, 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 they're putting the Hextex uh, statistics up. Not good for Cloud Soul enjoyers. Anyway, mid lane turret here also now left and destroyed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This game is going to be absolutely wild. I mean, it is, and it's going to be even more so in the next couple of moments, man. Audi here found by River. But he should be able to get away, right, with the fear. Oh, he actually gets away from the fear. What the hell? He just runs him down, and Baron is up. Baron is up, and the jungler gets caught. What? What the fuck is this flight? Anyway, like Hunger Thieves might just be able to pick it up here. I mean, Audi is so important for the for the team composition of R7 to get the initial engage in. I mean, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. There comes the tidal wave, gets a double knock up. Seo and Kaine both in the uh, different dimension thingy majingy. And oh my god, River with that one pick onto Audi. This is a game defining moment. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, 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 so we need armor penetration and penetration items to come in and well R7 has located them into the shop, right? Ezreal buying his probably Sereldas, uh, Kane with the purple rod and Audi and Summit both have located the Black Cleaver into the item shop, so maybe they might be able to take some damage uh, against the sniper guy, but Okay, there's the old combo, but it's not enough for the immediate one shot and that is Audi dead again. Too far forward, too desperate. Ay, 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 ay. Like sure the Baron buff siege is pretty powerful here, but ay, 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 ay. they didn't get the minions, they still lose their turret, they lose their life. Sure, Tomo now no summoners for uh, like the next minutes, right? So for the next dragon fight, if we get a fight, right? If Hungry Thieves allows a fight. Like the bot lane, the Tomu guy, he's going to be a primary target for like any of the divers from R7. So that's something that we need to pay attention to. Sure, now it looked very bad and uh, was kind of overforced, but they got the cooldowns for the next meaningful fight, right? Anyway, man, quit. This guy is absolutely like f fucking around, man. He's like, yeah, pick me Aurora mid lane and I'm going to perform. Okay, there's Summit on the flank, puts down the ward. There's the old. There's Tomo, absolutely one shot on the other side. Kane it chunked, and yeah, that is massive. The the dragon has not spawned yet, so I don't know what this window is. Like the Baron Bath has not run out, but oh wait, Hunger Thieves goes in. They at least get a kill, but it's going to be an absolute disaster. They're all going to die. Both teams do absolutely useless things. Why like why fight now? No objective has been spawned. Like, if Hunger Thieves is not Uga booga and re-engaging, the death timer of Tomo and the like, River would be not big enough, right? They could have contested the objective, at least they could have tried for it. I mean, hey, the TP ward and all of that from Summit, very good, very, very nice. They, they, they don't fuck up the combo or any stupid shit, right? Like, all fine. But hey, for fuck's sakes, like, what are, like, what is Quit and what is Sniper doing? What are they, like, what? 
Why go in 2v5? Uh, 4, whatever. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, oh, what is this? What is this? They found River. Now, this time, the other jungler has been found. And, uh, yeah. Okay, he gets away, gets the old. Ex I mean, it's an old exchange. But, uh, yeah, they picked up the Drake in the uh, during the replay. So, good for R7, good for R7. Gold, again, doesn't matter at this point in the game anymore. The only thing that matters, do they have enough penetration items for the Xante? And so far, I mean, hey, the answer looks like a big yes. Now Summit, he just needs to get a bit more tankier. It looks like he's going for the Jack Show. Good item choice, good item choice. I mean, I, everyone loves Jack Show, no? Absolutely lovely. Baron is on the map. Dragon is a couple moments away. Are people going to lose their mind because Dra uh, Baron is on the map? Or are they going to calmly play it out? <laughs> you know what's going to happen. I'm just manifesting the team fight. I'm just going to manifest it. Actually, Sniper getting chunked here quite a bit by uh, by the random abilities, right? Don't lose your minds. Hello, just push out waves, set up vision, and so on and so on. R7 has control over the top side, and hey, rocking into their comp, also not too sexy. Don't lose your mind. Don't hook. Okay. That's the calling. That's a decent chunk. Summit takes away off the wave there. But it's not really enough. Decent ult there. And there is the combo. They found the Na... Wait, the Nami? Chill, 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 chill. Play safe, play safe. Quid gets the ult down. There's Rivers engage, but they have the flashes. River falls and quits forced into Zonias. But that's got just going to be it. Ooh, maybe Summit is overforcing it. There's still so much damage left in this comp. Ooh, can they to Baron after uh, at the back of this? It should be. It should be a big yes. It should be a big yes. They cancel Tomo's recall. Quit no old and no jungler on the map. R7 should be able to take a free Baron here. They need to sprint at it though. Okay, Summit pushes in the wave. It, it's going to take a moment, but the death time of River is still big. Elia has respawned and they're all sprinting towards this. And I mean, Audi and Kane's ult, Kane's, whatever. Their ults are back up, right? And yeah, they have no smite, so that's going to be it. Baron buff for R7. Ay, 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 ay. And that's like I hope now you see why our uh, the draft in game number one was such a big factor, right? These teams are very close. Oh, Summit here, what are you doing? Why are you dancing with them? It's not necessary. Not necessary. Especially when you don't have Sterex, you're just uh, surprisingly squishy. One of what Summit's next item is going to be. Oh, they're going in again. They caught. They caught quit. Or the low. Or the low. He just has to go back. Just go back. Just go back. Oh my God, the hook was massive. I was not sure if it was the hook, but the caster set the hook, so it, I, I assumed it was the hook. Jesus, man. Latin America sends North America home because that's going to be it. Baron buff plus fucking four people dead. I mean, <laughs> yep, this is just one tiny fish left, and I, I, I think I predicted a 2-1 victory for 100 Thieves here, but hey, that's why, uh, that's why R7 is, uh, that's why R7 is uh, above Mad Lions in my power ranking at least. <laughs> hey, great performance, quit, maybe cook a little bit less, it looked good, Aurora looks good, but uh, I mean, maybe it was a bit too much here. Anyway, let's go into game number three. Okay, so we're coming into game number three. Uh, yeah, who would have expected it? I raised my hand. I expected it. Summit. B1 Renekton. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. These people, I'm just losing my mind. Uh, so, yeah, they banned the Orianna. So, no more uh, Ariana, Orianna. What is it? Orianna Nocturne combos. So, that's that. Uh, Yon being banned. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, and uh, yeah, all these things. Maybe Quit can pick some reasonable champions this time. Hey, there's the Jinx, by the way. Super overpowered champion. Why didn't we see it more today? Well, I have no fucking idea. Maybe these teams are just uh, goofing around. Yeah, they have uh, absolutely Z-tier champions. Cassante is an absolute monster, and Jinx is uh, one as well. I think R7 is just going for another Uga Booga. Let's just have some fun comp. And they, yeah, they reveal their hand quite a lot. They already revealed we are mid range, we are mid game. Uh, we have we're looking for like some powerful lanes, and we're looking to snowball the game. If that doesn't work, we we'll lose. Unless you are worse than I don't know we are. Anyway, so there's the what is it the Nautilus. 
So we have two like water champions down in the bot lane. Maybe that's like some synergies that we are looking for. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, Nautilus Jinx, not sure why that. Uh, but there's already kind of hints at that uh, River wants to play something uh, aggressive. Um, maybe an AP jungler like as an R5 counter pick comes in. Um, maybe something like that. But uh, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. On the other side, I, I think R7 should really look at the Poppy ban here. Uh, their champions like Lucian, Renekton, like I don't want to play against Poppy when I'm playing these champions. So that's that. Uh, Sundra comes here in, instead. Sundra obviously pretty good and uh, in general and against these champions. And uh, would also work well with the Nautilus, right? Setting up some CC and so on and so on. Not really the highest AP damage. Well, actually with the buffs. Yeah, with the buffs it's it's fine as the sole AP. Sure, there's also CC, so Merc Trip, but yeah, well, whatever. It would have been, I think, okay. So, yeah, this is not what I expected. Sure, the, the Viego is rising in priority. That's, like, everyone had that one on, on their radar, I assume. But the uh, R4 jungle pick here, uh, and then holding the R5 mid lane. Um, yeah, I think River would have uh, wanted to cook a bit more. Because, like, you're forced to, like, to play AP mid lane here anyway. Like, they're just... Like, it's just uh, a couple of options. Anyway, LeBlanc being picked, so they completely commit to this. Uh, now let's see what is their, like, option here against Viego. Um, honestly, I don't know. Viego seems pretty powerful on this patch. Not sure if uh, the monkey is, like, strong enough. But, uh, well, hey, it, it works well with their comp, right? They need some, needed some, like, more reliable engage, which, I mean, the monkey is not really, but better than nothing. And now let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it going to be Aurora or some crazy stuff again? Vex! Makes some sense, right? There are a good amount of dashes, but Vex is... I mean... There's a reason you have not seen Vex in your games for like the last couple of years. That champion has not been doing well and... Well, let's just see. Quit is just saying I, I'm not playing a standard champion today. I'm just going to play like whatever. Uh, maybe Hunger Thieves wants to like maybe he wants to help Hunger Thieves being like the team with the most uh, diverse champion pool or something. Anyway, I, I think uh, Hunger Thieves had some really good or like some some solid ideas there, right? Um, I think they could have uh, just picked like a normal AP mage, ma a mage to, to some extent. Right with the with the bands of like Oriana and Syndra, like the, the control mage pool has been has been kind of pinched, right? And then be, seeing a LeBlanc, obviously you, they didn't know the LeBlanc at that point, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I like their comp just looks a bit weird, right? Sure, they have the Jinx as an insurance, but they could have like pivoted into something like Ivern, like Enchanter with Jinx, right? And Ivern is a pretty good champion right now, even though people I don't know. Don't want to play it. Kind of makes sense in playing stage, right? You want to like handshake Uga Booga things and so on and so on. And like, Ivern is not the ultimate champion for that. Ivern is better in more controlled environments. He can scrap, but it's just not the best thing for him. And here we see it. Hunger Thieves is breaking the rules. They are swapping around. Right games, look away. Your changes have not deterred uh, this thing from happening at all. Uh, so sure, like the Renekton is going to be uh, like somewhat okay, but uh, yeah, this should have been somewhat expected, right? Jinx, Nautilus versus Lucianami. That sounds like a horrible lane if I've ever seen one. Regardless, let's just see. Uh, in theory, this Vex champion is a counter to LeBlanc, right? That's the, that's the idea of it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it works out in reality. Summit here paths through mid lane. La 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 la. Steal some of the XP. Uh, helps with the push. And what are, what's the what's the idea afterwards? Yeah. And there's the auto attack. They force the flash. Sniper is still level one. Audi is also here. There's the barrier force. Uh, it's crazy. Oh, they hit the hook again. So they get three summoner spells for two. And Sniper is being protected, he's being able, allowed to eat the entire wave. It's... yeah. It, it is what it is, right? Regardless, regardless, uh, yeah, R7, they fall for one of the earlier tricks in the book. Uh, I honestly don't know how prevalent lane swaps are in, like, in other regions, right? Um, it's just such an unfair situation. And, yo, know, the damage is crazy. 
crazy. One more auto and the heal is enough to save Summit's life. Massive W by lines. But yeah, that's just not what you want to see, right? You're, you pick Renekton for the early pressure. Booga booga. And uh, yeah. Quit again, cooking. You probably could have gotten that 1v1. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I mean, Kane still had flash anyway, but kinda. <sighs> Fuck six. Uh, he still had flash anyway, so yeah. You would at least have forced that one out, but yeah. Audi with the flash KS and uh, yeah. Pushes R7 ahead in gold, even though like some of the XP is a bit rough here and there, right? Lines down in XP, summit down in XP. And that's just how it uh, turns out if you, uh, well, I'm not uh, that uh, adept in the in the lane swaps, right? And it's a bit weird. It's it's very bit weird. Oh. What is going on? Hundred Thieves plays the lane swap better, but they get caught here and there. They give over kills, and uh, yeah, my Mr. Rank One in the playing stage quit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is Bro doing? Oh, okay, and he gets the old off. There's the rocket, and that's the first kill for the Hunger Thieves. River with the possess chases Audi out, but not too uh, too successful anyway. And uh, yeah, they're also not immediately going at the dragons. Just. Yeah, you gotta recall, you gotta go back and contest the grubs. Okay, it looks like fucking six grubs for our seven. Summit here is going to be the sacrificial lamb. He gets the entire wave and, well, he gets the flashes. Wait, who flashed? Yeah, okay, Summit flashed. I was like, huh? Anyway, so he gets the entire wave, he lives, and his team picks up six grubs. It's like, that sounds like a big W, and there's lines coming around. So they can be a bit more aggressive here, but. Oh, wait, wait, hey, Observer! Observer, what the fuck? Wait a minute, 100 things are fully committing to this. If we go picture, picture, I love it. I am going way too dank. We're back. Here we are. Nothing happened. I was taken on a roller coaster of emotion. Okay, cool. Uh, Observer kind of panicked. Right, he wanted to show the TPs. I get it. But, uh, well, it happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us. We all fuck up at times. Uh, but yeah. Uh, looks like a mid lane wave goes into the turret. But somewhat. And uh, yeah, it looks like TPs were channeled, but uh, yeah, I mean, nothing really happened in the end, so it is what it is. And uh, yeah, the 700 gold lead for R7 is still there, and we'll have to see. Oh, don't look, don't look away. Hey, shot top lane, shot top, 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 top. Yes, yes, look at this. No, 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 show top, top. For fuck's sake, man. Caster! No, it's not Caster, it's Observer. Look at this, man. That's two plates. That's the grubbers. That's so much free money. Let's go. I think, I, I mean, we can all agree, grubs are fucking useless, but if you get six grubs, it's fucking amazing. So you just really need to get one, and then it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, right to deny it, but that's that. So let's see, let's see. River, you're pretty aggressive, right, with the Kraken Slayer, and also pretty dead is the top laner there. Is there any cross map? No. Far, 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 far from it. We can't see it. I mean, they're going to look, uh, look at bot lane, but that turret was always going to die, so they pick up an extra kill. Sure, they lose the first blood turret, but uh, yeah, with the six scrubs, is it close? Well, it got feisty close. Like, I think that if they if they know if they knew how much damage they would do, I think they could have uh, been more brazen and like tanked some turret shots or some shit. I don't know. And got have, uh, could have gotten the first blood turret anyway. Regardless, regardless, uh, yeah, the gold lead doesn't really move that much. 1.1, 1k, something like that. And uh, yeah, obviously R7 with their champions, they kind of need a lot more, right? There's the Jinx on the enemy team. Hunger Thieves, they get the first kill. Their team fighting is like bomb, 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 right? Three reset champions, quits old resets. River, obviously, yeah, that's what he does. Let's just see, you slice and dice in, but the W comes in. Summit here tries to, yeah. Buy some time, but it's just not enough. That's the aggressive build, I guess, coming to fruition for uh, for River. What? No. Yeah, that's because you guys are disrespectful of minor regions. That you think that it's a big fucking insane upset that R7 uh, uh, beats them, but. Sure it is, but it's not at the same time. Right, it's like, oh, Hunger Thieves is a major region. Like, yeah, have you looked at the fucking, like, players of R7? 
Anyway, quit here, uh, gets TP'd on, not much you can do, honestly. They give the kill over to Kaine, Kaine. I still don't understand. Hey, there's the, there was the brother with the T1 jersey. Hey, hey, hey. let's go, let's go. Uh, regardless, regardless, Dragon has spawned, let's see. R7 here, uh, half the priority, half the setup, the vision. But the other comp, I mean, Jinx is one item, right? So Hungry Thieves, they're still... Hey, we're scaling, we're scaling. So, yeah, let's just see. Seo's ult comes through. Oh, maybe they found a pick and yeah, that's uh, that's my guy again. Oh, the traps are good and River will be allowed to get away. But what about the rest of the team? There's Sniper. Sadly, we can't say sniped away, but hey, the AD carry still pow, pow, pows them down. And uh, yeah, that's going to be two quick kills. It's going to be a bunch of summoner spells gained as well. And the dragon on top of that. That's fingers crossed for another cloak. So... I don't want to see this. Show me the cloud soul spawning so that my dragon prediction is going to be correct. It's cloud soul again. Yes, eat that, eat that. My prediction is going to be correct. It's going to work. It's going to work. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. Here we see what just uh, happens. Like when you have a champion, uh, a comp where champions spike early or relatively early, that is ahead against champions that will need some more time. And I mean, hey, quit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please, <laughs> fix, fi fi fix it up. Regardless, any cool items coming in. Jinx two items. Seo also on two and a half items. Mid lane, a bit of a, a bit of a diffy, right? A bit of a diffy, right? Quit looking for the counter pick there on R5, but uh, didn't found it. And oh my, Elia here. At least Quit finds the ult, but gets CC'd immediately. And well, Seo dashes away, pops the barrier, and it's going to be a bit of a rough team fight. They find the reset, but River. Yeah, gets this old flashed away from Seo. Can he kite him? The answer is no. And well, I'm eating my words. This uh, Viego champion is fucking crazy, I guess. And uh, yeah, on the back of this Viego champion, they win this fight here. The chompers are massive, but it's not enough. And uh, yeah, I said they win the fight. I kind of jinxed it. They still have Kasante, right? So they still have the true hyper carry of this team. I mean, look at this champion. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid how much damage he does while being so tanky. He doesn't have magic resistance. That's why the six kill LeBlanc one shot at him. Uh, yeah, he has bought the Magi Soul Stealer. And uh, for everyone who loves uh, percentages and something like this, I think this item has like a 74-75% win rate. So if you buy it, you're winning the game. Which is obviously very biased because uh, that's just how it works. Oh, that's Kane kinda caught. That's the fear. Quit finds them, but oh, the flash into the wall. That's my rank one for plans. No. Oh my, oh my. Oh, Kane, don't do this stupid thing. Oh, Seo dashes, but I mean, maybe one champion is more balanced than the other. The Blanc pops over the wall. Maybe she can find something. Oddy here. Nah, it's not enough. Man, River is absolutely popping off. I was not familiar with his game. This fucking Viego champion, well, the buffs help, but ay 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 ay. It's pretty fun that it's uh, like a VCS player, right, River, uh, holding EU, that's not EU, holding NA, uh, like, hopes here. It's really insane. Everyone, open your notebook and write down Viego, pretty powerful. So, uh, yeah. Like, Hungry Thieves, like, if they didn't have quit on, like, <laughs> Troll Champion 1, 2, 3, I think it could have been so much better. I see the vision right there, dashes, like individually it's like regarded as a counter pick, but that was maybe like two years ago when Vex was a playable champion, but uh, she has not been and well again, he's trying things out, respect respect to him, right? You need to have some confidence, maybe it's like just foolishness, but anyway, the gold lead again, because these team fights are so close, it's still just 4000. Right, we see hundred thieves. Like it looks rough, but they get a kill. Then they snowball like the fight, right? But that's Elia caught. Oh, they get the Kane. They get Kane. They get Kane. That's not what you want. That's not what you want. Oh, they're looking for something. Summit goes in all the way, but can he be enough? Oh no, just barely. It's not. Linz is not there. And oh, the chompers were still around in the brush, I think. Was it the chompers or was it Rivers W? Ay, ay, ay. 
That's crazy. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Tomo lives with the slimmer of HP. That's the benefit of playing with the SKT T1. Jinx skin. Anyway, clone. They're diving the turret. They're diving the turret. Oh my, oh my. Maybe a bit too deep. That's the Cassante dead. And that's River also on the chopping block. And that should be it. They should be absolutely massacred here. The death timers are 50 seconds. That Oh my god, the LeBlanc damage is not from this world. Oh my, oh my. There's a wave as well. Mid lane turret short to fall. Are they going to rotate towards bot? Okay, they don't want to finish just yet. They just take the mid lane inhibitor. But I mean, hey, they have 30 seconds. They could have looked for an end here, no? Could have looked for it. But maybe the wave is just too small. And I mean, it's still a jinx, right? She hits the turret. Uh, yeah, okay. Quid also has wave clear. Yeah. So they pick up a bunch of turrets. That's massive standing gold. Extending the gold lead <laughs> ever so slightly by like 1000 or something. <laughs> Ay ay ay, look at this LeBlanc man, 20 Magi stacks. Regardless, okay, here, we see the Siege, and it's absolutely dog shit. Like, R7, you can't, you, you can't Siege. You don't need to look for picks, you need to play the map. Maybe with, like, split push you can get something done, but you can't group 5 men and Siege your turret. It's impossible. Even with Baron buff, it will be nearly impossible. Sure, Seo and Lynn's uh, Lions can press R uh, in such a case, if they have Baron buff, and then maybe they can zone them away, but that's even... <clears throat> a bit reaching, right? Let's just see. You just need to chill, keep them in their base, look at the vision they've set up, right? Next Cloud Drake, next Baron coming around in 1 minute 40, 45. And that's where you can, like, look to play, right? You have to keep them in their base so that you can set up a, a vision advantage, you can set up vision uh, pockets, and then play around them, generate some picks, right? River, as strong as he is, he's decently squishy, right? If you, uh, like, give Kane a moment, he's going to one-shot him, right? So that's what you'll have to look for. Here, Sniper gets chunked. Oh, it gets tacked though by the Xante. And the hook connects and that's the shutdown for Tomo of all people. What is he doing? What the hell, bro? Okay, Elia just gets one shot, but is that enough? Seo here gets tacked. Learns Bubble does not connect. Oh, Quit does not die. And that's the jungler dead. Tomo is chasing Seo. Look at top lane. Look at top lane though. Look at top lane though. Remember they still have six scrubs. Remember they still have six scrubs. Item check, anything cool? Nope, not nothing here really. Quit can't stop him. That is the Baron buff. They can TP on the wave. They can TP on the wave if they want to. Right, the next wave is coming up. They're going for the dragon, right? Thank you, I appreciate it. PSG, why didn't you take care of the dragons? Just like they did. That's the sun. Quit mo brother. But the recalls are coming in with the Baron buff. Summit pops the old, but yeah, not really much cost, right? That's top lane in mid in in inhibitor also down. Mid lane inhibitor should respawn. Uh, yeah, in 30 seconds. It's above my beautiful face. And uh, yeah, bot lane is being pushed in. So like, where is your Baron play, right? Mid lane, you don't have a wave. Top lane, your wave is like in your base. Bot lane, the wave is near your base. Like, it's going to take Hungry Thieves a while to set up any, like, uh, any relevant setup, right? And their siege is... Good, but it's also not too amazing. R7's wave clear is bad though, so... Yeah, for R7 you need to get the waves early. You need to... Yeah, that's what... They, what they're doing is correct. Obviously, they also have total vision control and they have a fucking fat LeBlanc. So it's very dangerous for Hungry Thieves to even like push up and try to... Oh my god! That's it, that's it, that's game, that's game, that's game. Well, not really because Baron buff, but I mean, that could be game. That still could be game. Oh my god, Tomo. I had so such high hopes for you. I put you in my, I think, top 10 or something. Did I? I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I know that I had quit Tomo and River in the top 15 of players. And I mean, most of them have performed. Now they're getting just one more combo on the turret because the Jinx is dead. And if River doesn't get the first reset, the champion also doesn't do anything. It's a fucking clean ace. And Rainbow 7 defy all odds and something something. And beat the 100 thieves. Quit, man. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, but Kane performed absolutely wonderfully, and that's what I mean. This, uh, like, people were like, are now losing their minds. And it's like, oh, who could have expected this? Yeah, do your fucking research. Just look at this. Like, this Rainbow Seven team is one of the best LLA teams that I have seen in a long, long time. Right? This team is really, really good. Right? Like, like you know Summit. You like, you should know Audi if you're like anywhere close to the scene. 
Like, Kane, sure, it's a bit of an unknown name, but look at the stats, look what he did, look at what he did on stage. He performed, and he did so wonderfully. And I have to be honest, like that bot lane, I didn't have them on my raid aid, but they performed, they performed really well. I knew they were, at, least, at least Theo was solid, but hey, I was not too familiar with your game. 100 Thieves win game number one, kind of solely on draft, right? Similarly to like how Mad Lions like, won their games, because they got like 5,000 gold leans gifted to them, in the early game uh, by <laughs> Vikings absolutely losing their minds. So, uh, yeah, if I, I'm just saying, right, there's a reason why I have Rainbow 7 above Mad Lions in my pickups. Uh, to be honest, I had Mad, uh, I had Hungry Thieves above both of them, so... I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not saying that I'm infallible, but, uh, like, I was kind of on the R7 respect train, at least. Regardless, that was a fucking banger series. I enjoyed uh, watching it, hope you did too. We'll see each other tomorrow. With more words content. It's amazing. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye bye.